let us begin. Also, I'm going to predict for the rerun banners, it's going to be like Nahida, probably Albedo, and a bold one, I'm going to say it's Risley. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Risley's just a random one I threw in there because the, the reruns make no sense. So <laughs> no point in guessing. But here we go. Let us begin. Oh, wow. We're into the trailer already. Okay. We've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. Yeah. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. Oh, like her power, this right? This is a distress signal for the masters of the Night Yo, Sidlali! So, Aurora was indeed. Genshin March 7, let's go. Wait, she can transform into a Jaguar? Yeah, yeah Sheila Nan! Pulling her, 100%. Oh, is that a, okay, is she using a sword? Was oh, that a claymore? She has a fucking DJ set? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, she even has like rollerblades and shit. That's her burst? Oh my god, that looks so sick. Oh, I need her. I need her. What? <laughs> I didn't know she was a DJ. Your soul is temporarily restrained by us and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Whoa, okay, that's a new world boss. Oh, it's like uh, it's another giant mechanical war boss, folks. Oh god, this guy seems annoying to fight. He's got, he looks like the next PMA. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyrocon Mauwika would never willingly share with you. Oh shit, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. Can we see his model, please? We have to make the decision for her. Uh oh here and now. Are they? Oh my god, they're like, are they blowing up Natlin City? Holy shit, they are! Resume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's like a full on war here, okay. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. If I could go back. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Ensure their survival? Who? You've experienced something similar, Malika. Is the brother very true? You should know exactly what I mean. Oh, shit. The rainbow destined to burn. Oh, my God. Holy shit, what a crack trailer. That's not like a full on war and everything. Oh, oh, hey, redemption code. I'll type in chat for you guys to copy and paste here. But holy shit. What? Okay, now we're actually getting the war in Natlin. You guys want the nation of war? We got the nation of war right here. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, that looks so, so good. And Chino then, I did not expect her to have a fucking DJ kit and everything. What? Are you shitting me? I need her. I, I need her. Oh my god. I hope you 50 50 is. Please be kind to me when I pull for Sheila Nen. Oh my goodness. I wonder who the, the chibis are going to be. I'm not sure if they're going to do chibis in this because they didn't do any chibis in the beginning. So this might be a dev stream. Uh, yeah, it's a dev stream. No chibis here, unfortunately. But I don't mind because dev streams are usually go into more detail anyways. Uh. <laughs> Here's another tell episode, baby. Hello, what the fuck? Impact Never mind, I guess we're doing chibis after all. Program. My name is Gabe, and I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. And I'm Kai. I'm also from the Lope team. And could it, we'll could they not get the English VA aboard? We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the huh. scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. I'm pretty pretty okay. About what's coming I, I, I thought for sure we're gonna get the devs totally. like sure talking to us, but is just oh, okay. As excited to find out about the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. First up, Shilonen will be our wow, new. I'm just jumping right into it. No, in okay, no like witty banner or anything. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Shilonen has a lot going on. Where should we start? <laughs> yeah, she she has yeah. a lot going we on. Probably start as you can see her right profession. here. Of course. Shilonen is a famous uh, Me need a pretty jaguar lady. One of Natland's six tribes. I, I, I think she's a jaguar or cheetah. Goods, like I don't know the difference actually. Vehicles and weapons. You name it and she'll make it. Cool. We've already seen some God, of she's even rollerblades there. Can she, can she rollerblade up walls? Sunglasses and Kachina's drill turbo that's gotta be fun as shit in Bihar. <laughs> oh, right, they're on strike, so maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe. Of our new upcoming this, means, this might be a shorter stream, then. Wow, she's forged so many creations. Yeah, and they're all really varied. She commands so much respect in Right, I forgot about the, like, the, uh, the VA really strike, so yeah. kind of makes What's sense. Her secret? 
Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, Gabe then and your Kai mind Fable and body will win. settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing of that course. before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the ignition teaser. Yes. I think but all, the, all like Jaguars and Cheetahs love to like sunbathe in trees. Music. Oh yeah, that's a popular pastime in her tribe, right? Absolutely. See those earpieces in her ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. She made oh, them so that she I didn't, can I didn't even notice those before. I thought those were like earrings and for some reason. And the help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're pretty handy. That's sick, actually. Wow. It seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment. Yeah, she that seems make it like she has some around. more fun ability between her and Chaska. Not Chaska, uh, Kachina. Oh, Queen. Oh, Ooh, Jingle Physics. She's seen her night oh my god. Blessing attire. Cool. <laughs> she yeah. can roll a blade on wow, fucking she walls. Makes Holy shit. It looks so easy. Yeah. She can even stop in the middle of her climb what? and that's take in the sick. surrounding view. Nice. Oh, that's gonna make for some like great camera moments. Inspiration that way. For sure. Be like freaking Spider-Man. Oh. When she finds something interesting, she immediately springs into action. <laughs> like a jaguar of wood. He, yeah, she even has it like transforms oh, into a jaguar. I've noticed. Speaking of intense, let's discuss her battle mechanics. Okay. Shilonen uses special that's a lot of text. Too. See those three objects next to her? They okay. look like gems, right? Well, okay, she those also has are a stack mechanic. that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super shiny. She, she attacks for a feet, really? Design. Yeah, and they're like with rollerblades. The <laughs> what the are what's the weapon she uses? Oh, but their element will change when you add hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro characters to your party. Okay. For example. If Mulani when a sample is activated, it would decrease the corresponding elemental res of nearby opponents. And when Just a free activates that res sample, shred? Really? She can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to hydro damage. Oh, okay, okay, then. Well, that's kind of like when you have Zhongli shield up. The samplers. It's simple. But it seems like when it's better. When has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. Oh. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand okay. it now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best. When I'm gonna need to play that game to understand a bit more, hydro, but it seems like pyro, cryo, or it seems like yeah, she can just be used in any team Once with like the elemental team, team, reactions. You just need to activate okay, now I see what you guys mean when you say like he's basically like a. Exactly. Geo Kazuha. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental He's resistance. Kazuha a dead friend. Of course. Shilonen I mean, we, we don't know. We don't know Shilonen's backstory, Geo so for characters. all we know, she might have one. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Huh, okay. Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party, Triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Shilonen's elemental also, burst uh, apologies deals for the AOE Geo damage, and if she has at least two samples of an related, so other than Geo, kind of then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. Wait, what? She heals right. too? That's all we have for Shilonen's skills. Yep. She restores HP. Oh, she, she, she's a healer as well. Important. What is it? Oh yeah, her the tribe quest is coming out soon, aka Shilonen Act 3 of the Children of Echoes, which I didn't know it did not exist till now. <laughs> I played Act 1 and Act 2 in the earlier stream, but I did not know Act 3 wasn't out yet. Names record the deeds of so we can heroes, just play that right? as soon as it comes it's out, which is nice. Can forge something like that. Exactly. Yeah, she's like, Natland she has like Kazuha's, um, Few have the honor of like, being recognized by Pathfinder's damage bonus with Zhongli's like shield the ability to forge res, ancient names. Like resistance, and she be can sure heal to too. Tribal Chronicles, like what, she can do everything. To learn He's more like everything about Shilonen like a support character needs. And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra. Oh yeah, if you complete her quests, you get free rewards for her or her materials during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the Traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, 
The Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, act three and act yeah. four. The Traveler is Let's an go. Outlander. So their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. Okay, if that's if those maybe, aren't recorded, maybe five point two is the end of the Nylon story. Tricky to I'm not sure yet. Ancient name for the traveler. Did they say it's yeah. gonna end five point two, five point three? That nobody's ever done it before. During the version five point one Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Seat Lali from the Masters Seat of Lali, the Night. Seat Lali, yeah. Her <laughs> I love her design so much. Knowledgeable about the wild. Apparently, she's super so poppy she in Japan to too. Just the design based. Oh my god, she's and drunk. Of course. The traveler's ancient That's adorable. name will be the only obstacle. <laughs> the threat of the abyss remains, and it seems like Auroran, oh! a mysterious member of the Masters Yo. of the Nightwind, is working on a Show me. Oh plan. my god, he looks bad. He has There's like so much different color eyes. Oh my god, Sasuke? Is that you? Gems from this oh, and he's right? Electro. You're exactly okay. Right. Just like in version 5.0, Yo, when is he playable? Travelers can earn an extra 500 Primo Gems if oh, they yep. complete the Natland Archon quest. This act stuff again, three and act four which is much welcome. Version 5.1, but that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring Natland during version 5.1. Travelers also, can earn a total of 400 extra Primo oh, Gems okay. by completing Wait, are they not expanding the map? Is it just like still the same Natland map? Progress. No. Uh, Additional areas, reach the required amount of progress in or are, are they expanding it? Because uh, I, I, I'm not sure, version. judging by the trailer, if there's but any new areas. Worry, you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration looks sick, will honestly. Be I, I want them. Two versions. That means you will have all of version 5.1 and 5.2 to satisfy the conditions and claim the rewards. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this lasts till 5.2. Rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates. You bet. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Netland areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That oh, way, okay. Travelers should have enough time so, to wait, does that mean we're not going to get any map expansion until 5.3? Each version comes with a ton of hmm. activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able oh. to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure, Aphid Treasure Trace. Trace. They'll work together oh, wait, with is this the, uh, to track down and capture what the fuck is that? aphids. Oh, wait, we're killing the thing. It's not oh. as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Yeah, they're like wow, giant is bees. Is safe from abyssal corrosion? Natlin's really That's kind of disturbing, actually. Tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the corrosion levels are still reversible. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal <laughs> energy inside of them. Elsewhere yeah, that happened with my Kini sometimes too, where the a fucking big shot just gets stuck in the air. A secret source okay, here's the world boss you need to kill for Shilonin's materials. I'm guessing. The secret source constructor awaits One all disaster, challenges. but a coughing baby mode. If you manage to beat this new <laughs> boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In fact, those are actually okay. her materials, so, you we know, farm it. We introduced our new character it. and the new boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. In the uh, first banners, let's go. 1, travelers can look forward Yelena to and Chiori, okay. Shilonen and Chiori. I thought for sure it'd be all beta. Whoa, that's a cool looking sword. It, will be featured wow, it even has like base lines. And in the second Whoa. half of version 5.1. Yep, I we'll predicted Nahida. I did not predict Hutao though. And Hutao. Yes, and new four star weapons will also be added to the oh, weapon cool. banner during version 5.1. Okay. Keep Wait, an eye uh, that was a claymore, right? <laughs> Chilonen oh, was using a claymore, wait. right? But that wasn't a sword? First Actually, I couldn't tell. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. All right, and your second redemption code. I'll type it in for you guys. Holy shit. That's a lot of good characters on the banners, honestly. Man, Nahida and Hu Tao. Hard to me is uh, wanting to get that C1 Hu Tao I've always wanted, but at the same time, Mavuika's like right around the corner. It's like, uh, why? Oh, yo. Oh, she only needs a sword user. Okay. Well, I have plenty of good swords then, so fuck yeah. Yeah, claymores I'm not so good at because I've only got like two five star claymores throughout my entire like lifespan of playing Genshin. And I've been playing since day one. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm kind of glad she's a sword user. <laughs> I have way better swords than claymores. Nice, though. Yeah, that. 
But yeah, this special ground seems to be pretty short, all things considered. Like, we literally, like... Well, like, yeah, how long have we been going on for? Like, sure 10 minutes? Everyone can figure out where like, we're damn. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Yeah, I might just give her a spinner bar signal. Really festive. <laughs> if she scales the defense. We're celebrating Why are we back in Sumeru? birthday in version 5.1. I still remember how the Sub Zero's festival kept repeating. Oh, we're gonna get a Sumeru event in 5.1? Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Sorastana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of when I woke up, I was riding in a. Oh, don't remind me of that. <laughs> the sudden change of music poor, poor. was so hard. Poor baby Nahida. Definitely. The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all I feel think like it. I think we are going back to Sumeru. birthday celebration, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, in the version 5.1 event, Chromatico... Oh, you get a free Candice, candy nice! Travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the Chromatic birthday o celebration of candies and roses. Oh, look at Nahida! <laughs> Alright, finally! Yeah, she has a little flower actually, crown on her. I have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this Sub Zero's festival? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, please do. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Holy it shit, Candace like Dio Tainari calling. Something. This year, they're the all about to eat Paimon, who's directly in the middle. Celebration, unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nahida. Oh, I can't wait oh, to Oh, but he's like throwing Nahida reaction. like a birthday party? <laughs> of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. <laughs> so don't Shh. give it away, Travelers. Don't you dare snitch. The flower carriage is another important part of sub -Zero's festival. This year, our oh, Sumeru we're actually building the carriage that was in her teaser? To simulate the That's cool. That way, it can go off without a hitch. The oh, flowers aren't there. So hey, Kave, my boy. And the traveler will. Oh my God, we actually get a life-size version of it. Parade, escorting the carriage along the route. Wow. So the traveler is like Nahida's. Why does it Yeah. It looks like the Aranara are also involved in the festival. But a god. If you want to learn more about this year's Sub Zero's festival, including the. Hey, please don't make me go on a fucking sixty-hour sure journey again, please. <laughs> during version 5.1. It's time to make some memories sweeter than candy that like, you Like, I love the Aranara, but goddamn, was that quest too long? look forward to different types of gameplay during the event. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can uh. take it for a spin during the event, Rocking Carriage. The oh, goal what? is to control oh. the direction of the carriage <laughs> it's subway to obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along the way, and you'll yeah, be able subway, to obtain subway a surfers. Score. Nice. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, oh, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, I like these. Oh, so it's like, like the a anomaly like the type game modes. Game. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> I actually always want to in play the third some. Event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Arc. This is all part of the Sumeru event, it seems. As many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your Wait, what performance the fuck? level. What if Farina had like a blue like thing with her sword? Is that a C6 Farina? Uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, maybe that's just event buffs. Oh, oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the sub Zero's Dude, look at Jilin and fight. <laughs> she seems so fun. Hey, I'm sure they will. In I could have thought that like prioritizing the fun aspect of like the Genji characters in a uh, Natalie. Offers other exciting events. Because yeah, while meta is fun in and everything, pursuit, travelers will be able play styles way more, way more like uh, appealing to me. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool! Oh, hey, we're finally Each making use of that arena that was just in the middle of nowhere. Using wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible, you'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regiment Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge. Oh, it's a co-op challenge. Okay. Stages. Force co-op again. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each oh, player like a... can choose a strengthening buff before oh. entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. Oh, so you have to it's share buffs. Well, that's going to be... <laughs> Great. Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the Okay, so we're not competing. Rewards. It's just New the yeah, teamwork. Challenges will oh, also shoot, be more. Added in version 5.1. I was literally travelers just talking about this earlier. Yo, Jong oh, I, I should have saved my keys. Whoa, Zhongli's shoot. echo is really cool.
Kuching Seiko is also oh, Kuching looks actually kind of nice. Of flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, Johnny's the best though. Excitement for our other update. Just those two? During version 5.1. Okay, just those two. A few familiar faces TCG update. I haven't played TCG in a, in a TCG. super long time. I don't Travelers think I ever will. Oh. <laughs> new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. Uh, I, I really should have saved my keys for uh Wait, for Kiching and Zhongli, Li, because I actually use them. Right. <laughs> Especially Zhongli. Back in version 5.1. Li Ban, like yo! Always, Chad is back! Change their items for primo gems and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin specific materials will be available during his latest visit. Awesome! That should be all right. If you guys want to exchange boxes, be sure to join the that Discord. Link in the description. For our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. Oh, third redemption code already. Okay. Wow. Uh, this was a very, very short one. Jeez. I mean, it got straight to the points. I'm kind of disappointed the VAs aren't here, but yeah, the writer's strike and everything. It kind of makes sense why they're not here. Still, though, not, not a bad live stream. All oh, this music. It still gives me chills after all this time. <laughs> I'm literally getting goosebumps in my legs right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta <it>, miss Sumeru. <laughs> Kinda glad we're going back, actually. Man, this yeah, this life's even been pretty good so far. I'm especially looking forward to the story and uh Shilin N2, of course, but these events look pretty Welcome nice. Back, travelers. Oh, it's time to jump into the changes? system optimizations. Yo! First up, a skip feature will be added to the spiral abyss. Oh yeah, I think I read that change allows briefly in the uh, in dev the notes. Update if you obtain full stars on floor 11 of the previous spiral abyss. Obtaining full stars on floor 12 will allow you to skip both floor 9 and floor ah, 10. Hopefully oh, this change good. will create a smoother experience. Good, bless experience. the Lord, I don't that have to kill the babies so anymore. Convenient. Yeah, I know, right? Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floor. Good, will good. I don't have to go manual. to floor nine and but commit rewards, fucking such as war crimes again. Will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, you can now open multiple domain oh. relic queries at once. Nice. We don't have to keep opening. Wait, them do you guys one actually do this? Do you yeah. actually like hoard the uh, more optimizations? <laughs> the, 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 the boxes and sorting logic of the character I've never seen anybody do that. interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. You can also sort by oh, that's nice. Okay, for an that's pretty, they're pretty much doing the same thing as they did with um, preferences Star Rail. Will also be saved. That that's nice. That will make it a lot easier to filter artifacts for each character. Totally. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized. Edge, what's on the major servers? You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. Oh, that's a nice. will also be added to the crafting bench that uh. allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's a good change, actually. You and craft the number of materials so can craft you for specifically now, the characters you, you own, the required materials the ones you choose. In advance, you can not do bad, all not bad. of that at the crafting bench. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. Okay. All right, travelers. Not bad changes, actually. You might so now I don't have to waste time going through Genshin Wars Impact 10 and 9 again. Old tomorrow. We've had an incredible oh. Oh, yep. anniversary. So far, right? Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Oh. Let's do it. Trip down memory lane. Yep. Oh, this is going to be like the fourth anniversary trailer, right? Oh shit! Wait, is this actually the Genshin anime? <laughs> or it's just a thing for the anniversary? Yo, my boy Eve looks sick! <laughs> Holy lightsaber! Passing memories. Ugh. Oh, that's gonna hit hard, especially since I'm a day one player. <laughs> one day we will be reunited. Maybe. I don't know if the story allows it. <laughs> what, they actually made a full song for this? Sometimes it's cloudy. That's what journey means. Can't see the scene ahead. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting the chills already. Four years. 
four years of this journey in a, in a blink of an eye. <laughs> Oh my god, this song's actually fucking go good. Holy shit. I can't- I honestly can't believe- uh, Yeah, man, I played this game for four years. I'm more surprised four years have already passed. Like, jeez. Where'd the time go, man? Oh my god, our battle against every single Harbinger. Yo! Anime, let's go! <laughs> Bloom! <laughs> ah, Rue. Oh yeah, all the good world quests and story quests too. God. Hey, who's crying right now? I know some of y'all are. <laughs> Please tell me it's like the opening for like Genjin's anime. <laughs> the song's like so good. Again. Oh my god. Uh, whoa, uh, Ether. <laughs> oh. Whoa. What was that? Oh, is it Mavika? I'm gonna get some Mavika, like in left hand or something. Wow, it's already been four years. Dude, that was sick, actually. Where's that was so gone? sick, man. Yeah, it so yeah, sounds more like an ending more than an opening. All those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror, the battle of Dude. the Chamber. <laughs> I need that to like be the end credits for like Lord, once we Kibata, complete our journey in Genshin, like after Sineshnaya or after um, uh, Kanria. That <laughs> That's exactly what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. Dude, I, it seems like this yeah, these, these chills are not Land going Land away. <laughs> oh my god, they're sticking. Of Play is about to be released. Hey, now the OST available on Spotify. Go listen to it now. Original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. Because the music actually Yay, fucking goaded. Finally, add Natland's regional soundtrack to our playlist. Let's yeah. go. All right. That's the end. Mm. That looks like all the information we have to share. Damn, what a good live stream. <laughs> what a good, good live stream. To come to an end. Is there anything you I'm so hyped for 5.1. Yeah, for sure. I really well, want to get I news on the Genshin so anime, though. I, I really, really do. Because it seems like hey, come on, that was like part of it until like... So huge. <laughs> it yeah. seems like it's I mean, more for the anniversary so than anything else. This game over the years, and every version has been special. But I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1. Play Order Resurrection every exactly. time. Oh I mean, yeah, 100. Seriously, Genshin Impact is is not only a game to me. Is my work. Mm. It's my life. Right. I play Genshin, Genshin Impact. Impact's an experience. Day. I talk about that you should Genshin totally share with all your friends and family. And I interact with players online. It's all these years <laughs> yeah it's a lot it's a lot totally totally so if i have to say something this time we are truly truly grateful that you guys our players are continue playing this game and yeah. we are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game awesome yeah 
no, totally agree. That's so great. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> that live stream was like time. only half an hour. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Man, what a good live stream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that fucking four year anniversary like video. I'm gonna replay the shit out of that. That ooh, I'm subbing the goosebumps from that. Four year long journey. Yeah, it's short but sweet. It, it, it's I get the they couldn't bring the VA's award because we had to strike. Yeah, look at look at everybody in chat here just crying. Four years. Four years, which will probably extend to five years and beyond. God damn. And yeah, well, there you have it, folks. That's the end of the 5.1 special program. Goodness, I cannot wait. I'm getting shielded in 100%, and I can't wait for the story as well. And yeah, I'm kind of surprised at all the events and all the QL changes. It's kind of expected for all of that, actually, because it seems pretty darn good from what I've seen. Not the most, like, action-filled, like, a uh, special program, but still, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And yeah, shielded in, I'm kind of surprised at her kit, honestly, so... I hope I uh, win 50-50 on her, and I hope you guys also win your 50-50s on the characters you want in 5.1. But okay, folks, I think that is a good place to end it off for today's live stream, folks. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think about uh, 5.1? Are you going to be playing Krishila in or any of the other uh, rerun characters? And uh, let me know, what are you most excited for in 5.1 in the comments down below? But yeah, folks, that is where we're going to end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed my reaction to it, and subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. And also, if you want to get me up to 5k subscribers, so I can see 6 my GG and Builder and everything. But okay, folks, it's time for me to go and uh, have myself a good night's rest. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys again in the next live stream. Take care, you guys, and have a good night, and I'll see you all again next time. Alrighty, boys, it's time for me to go now. See ya, and here's to another <laughs> a few good years of Genshin.